Let's now move on to talk about the cybersecurity framework according to the NIST. Now, information security and cyber tasks can be classified as five functions following the framework developed by the National Institute of Standards and Technology, the NIST. Now, these five functions are identify, protect, detect, respond, and we cover what exactly are these. Well, identify, basically, we evaluate the risks, threats, and vulnerabilities. And of course, we will also recommend security controls to mitigate them. So it's essentially threat identification. And then we'll also identify the ways how we can combat those threats. The second stage will now be to protect. This is where we can either purchase the tools that we need or we develop them. And then we'll go ahead to install them, operate, and also decommission any IT hardware and software assets with security as an embedded requirement at every single stage. Next will now be to detect, or you could also say monitor, because here we're gonna perform ongoing proactive monitoring to ensure that the security controls that we have put in place, they're actually effective, and they're doing the job of protecting our data and infrastructure against new types of threats. But we all know that no network security system is 100% safe from threats and vulnerabilities. So what happens if we do get hacked or we get attacked? Here comes the respond function. So here, we're going to identify, analyze, and contain and eradicate threats to systems and data security. And then finally, recover. Here, we'll implement cybersecurity resilience to restore systems and data if other controls are unable to prevent the attacks. So one more time, the five stages of the five functions of the NIST cybersecurity framework are identify, protect, detect, respond, and recover.